What's up, EFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today we have three fragrances from the house of Absolument Parfumé. Keep it right there. Today we have a house called Absolument Parfumé. Okay. It's a French niche perfume brand launched in 2006. Their first release was an absinthe fragrance which featured cannabis as well. Oh, interesting. Interesting oh. fragrance for sure. <laughs> the three that we're highlighting today are Le Patchouli Sublime, Prix d'Asmant, and we have... The last one is called La Treizième Note. The, the 13th, 13th Note. note. Do you want me a Coke? <laughs> I said Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't we start with closest to you? Uh, sure, I'd be happy to. So we sprayed this about 20 to 25 minutes ago, so we are in the dry down here. And what I get from this one, it's a very sort of mature and dressed up kind of a scent. There's something a little spicy in there, and definitely we did look up the note breakdown, so this one does contain aniseed. And um, aniseed or star anise kind of smells like licorice a little bit thankfully for a lot of people there isn't an overdose in this one of aniseed there's also something green in here akin to like wormwood or vetiver or something of that nature this is definitely a dressed up kind of a scent and i see this being more appropriate for formal occasions it's got an assertive quality about it you know it's it's not a faint wispy designer or gourmand from a niche company this is a niche company but this is like a really confident fragrance that yeah. you need to have the cojones to wear <laughs> it's not an easy breezy fragrance it's i agree with you yeah it's definitely for a connoisseur yeah definitely this one here Brie de Asmant, it's an osmanthus musk combination that sounds good delightful it's really good it's got that apricot type of feel i love osmanthus recently we just smelled osmanthus as a raw, raw material, material yeah. and it's so different than what it translates to in a perfume. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's much better when they do it in a perfume. So this one is actually the most expensive one from this collection. So mm -hmm. this one is $200. You can see there's a uniformity with the presentation and the ones on the end in the silver leather bound presentation or faux leather, I should yes. say, are 140 So this one is by far the more expensive one. If these interest you after watching this video, these are available at Beverly Hills Perfumery in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alan Burgess, we love you. Great guy and um, he's a pleasure to work with. These are also available for a little less in cardboard boxes without the full leather packaging. And you know what? I think that's a good thing. A lot of companies are doing that like Parfum MDCI. Mm -hmm. You can choose to get it with the bus or without the bus. So if presentation mm -hmm. is important to you, then it's going to cost a little bit extra. But I think in terms of the price on these, it's, it is fairly affordable, especially for a niche brand. So the Osmanthus one, I definitely get a musky component to it. It doesn't resonate too deeply and it's not the kind of musk that is really sharp on your nostrils. It's <laughs> a really pleasant addition to the scent and I think it kind of calms down the Osmanthus a little bit because as stated earlier on in the video, I'm not the biggest fan of Osmanthus as a raw material. If you felt smell it in I, its individual form yeah it's quite a difference when it's delivered in a perfume exactly but i can definitely see that peach or smell rather that peach apricot vibe mm -hmm. that this one gives off but luckily this one doesn't smell like a typical fruity floral that you get on the designer side of the women's realm it's not a. it's not overly sweet or yeah it's not at all sweet actually. it's a really nice wear. i happen to like this one a lot okay yeah so so far i think this is my favorite yeah. <laughs> I want to say, though, it leans like 60% feminine, 40% masculine. Nah. But that's I, negligible for a lot. Respectfully disagree, sir. W what do you think? I think it's down the middle. Maybe just like a little bit on the fem side. Okay. But it, it's not... It won't make you feel uncomfortable as a man wearing it. I don't think, anyway. I personally wouldn't feel uncomfortable. You know, I think when it comes to men's fragrances, there are certain floral ingredients that I'm totally cool with. Heliotrope, iris, rose to a certain degree, and then maybe jasmine and whatever I have to really think twice about. But this one, I would agree. It's a very confidently can be pulled off by a guy for sure. Awesome. Lastly, we have Le Patchouli Sublime. And here we have, it's definitely fougere type of fragrance. It's definitely masculine. Mm-hmm. It's 
It's a bold fragrance as well. Bookends here. This is a softer of the three. Yeah. But this is... Let me see. <laughs> Open your shirt and show those chest hairs. Mm, and have yeah. your gold chain. <laughs> right? Yeah, it actually smells just like that, yeah. So there's definitely a bit of a sharp quality in here. I don't know what it's on account of. I don't know if there's a green element like fur or oak moss or there's a pinch of lavender in here. It's definitely something that smells green and fougere-like. Azaro where Ohm comes to mind. Mm, yeah, except I think Azaro in that family. Ohm, it's a bit mossier. But yeah, yeah, it's definitely in that family for sure. This one kind of reminds me of, dare I say, like a niche version of a fragrance that was spoken about very positively in the mm -hmm. community, and that is the original Thallium. That so, reminds me of Eric Hill, because he used to love yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. I actually blind bought Thallium Black because it had a plum note, and I ended up not <laughs> liking it. Uh, but the original is pretty good, but you have to be in the mood for those types of scents. So, yeah, I like this one. This one is actually quite nice. Who I can see wearing this, like literally, is Max Forty. This is yeah. such a Max type of fragrance. I can see him wearing this one too. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Max. So he could probably blend them <laughs> and create a new blend. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Awesome. Thank you for having me on your channel, Carlos. My pleasure. My pleasure. If you've tried these, let us know in the comment section below. We'll start a conversation and we'll see where it goes. We always love to interact with all of you. Thanks so much for all your support and all your time spent with us here on YouTube. If we're you're grateful. new to this channel, I'm sorry, did I cut you yeah, off? Sir? I just said we're grateful, so oh. thank you for everything. And we are, amen. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you took something of value, definitely hit up this guy right here. Thank you. Who I steal his lines if you found something of value. <laughs> when did right you ever hear me say that? Keep it right there. <laughs> if you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on our future videos. And that's it. Hope you had a blast today here on Brooklyn Fragrance Lever, and we will see you next time. Bye.